now we will introduce the concept of aggregation aggregation allows me to abstract okay abstract relation types abstract relationship types into entity types let's see what do we mean by this okay let's suppose we have a relationship where a boy dates a girl okay and while dating they meet at various places now i have to show a relationship that boy is meeting a girl at a specific place so how do i do that in order to do that what i do is i abstract this relationship into an aggregation okay i abstract this so that it can behave like an entity type now i can say that this combination meets at a cafe okay so aggregation helps me form relationship between relationships okay or between a relationship and an entity because here this relationship is between a relationship and an entity and this is called as aggregation because i have aggregated the relationship so that it can act as an entity in my entity relationship model so we would have values like jimmy meets joan at barista or jimmy meets joan at ccd or shawn meets sheila at kawa okay this kind of information i can model using aggregation and the aggregation is between this this and this and it allows me to specify relationship between the aggregated object and the entity this is the relationship this is the relationship okay that was about aggregation it abstracts relationship into entity types now we will look at how do we convert a specialization or a generalization into set of tables so specialization to tables okay let's suppose i have my specialization as a person person is a employee self employed 